check out all of this clearance from Target. Welcome to Team Multiverse. I'm your host, Taurus, and man, I hit the gold mine. As you can see from that intro video, yeah, I picked up some Target clearance, and I am happy, folks. These are all items that I've been wanting, but I'm like, I was like, okay, let me just kind of wait and see what happens. One in particular, I'm extra, two in particular, I'm extremely excited for. We'll go over all of them. First up, we have Emma Frost from the X-Men. I've been warning Emma Frost. I do not have Emma Frost. And she was only, like all of the rest, only $12.49, man. I mean, you cannot beat that. Uh, she's a part of that uh, Chod Build-A-Figure wave. Uh, uh, that wave is a bit of a, it's it's a mixed bag, man. I mean, I love Emma Frost. I have Corsair, of course. Uh, the rest of these are just characters that I could less care about. Um, if it does go down to maybe like $5 um, at Target, I will dive in. Maybe $5, $7 because I really would like to build Chad. Uh, we'll see. But I have Emma Frost. Then up next, we have the father of Cyclops, one of my most anticipated figures of this year. And that is the Star Jammers leader, Corsair. He comes with some really cool accessories that we'll look at much later. Uh, to the side here with Mr. Corsair. I love this, man. This is a, this is exciting for me. So we got Mr. Corsair. And again, he was only $12.49 as well. And then we have yet my most anticipated figure here. And that is the Astonishing X-Man Cyclops. Now, I love this figure, folks. I would have gotten this guy regular price, but I just didn't get around to it. But to get him for only $12.49 is a steal for me. It's, it's a perfect buy. I mean, this was awesome. You know, uh, this looks amazing. I would love to see Cyclops in live action with this costume here. And then see this uh, image here on the side. And then we have Cyclops here on the back, man. Oh, oh, oh I'm so happy to have this guy. This guy is, is like, a, a, again, he's one of my most favorite this year from Marvel Legends. All right, and up next we have... Project Superman. Now, this was a huge surprise for me because, you know, I wanted this character, but I just did not want to pay maybe full price for him. Uh, but I needed the build a figure piece. I really did. I look forward to building Cyborg. This is a collective build a figure wave, and you will build Cyborg. I look forward to that. Uh, they did reveal Flash that is uh, going to be dropping at Targets anytime now. I think some people have already gotten them. Um, I did a like, kind of reveal video on him, so definitely check that out. Look forward to that. I did review the uh, Conqueror Aquaman. I did review him on the channel, so definitely check that out as well. But, man, I look forward to building Aquaman. I'm not Aquaman, but I look forward to building Cyborg. But this Project Superman is pretty cool. He's pretty cool. He's been on the shelves, man. Nobody really has dived into this guy, but I'm pretty sure they will once Flash drops. So we have Cyborg. Not Cyborg. We have Project Superman. I got Cyborg on the mind. And we have... Corsair, we have Cyclops, and we have Emma Frost. And right now, what I'd like to do is take all of these out of the package, and we're going to take a closer look at all of these. All right, let's get to it. All right, folks, I got everyone out of the packaging, and I got to say, I'm excited about how these Marvel Legend figures have turned out, man. Very impressive. You know, I know my father, I know what they be bringing to the table, but I'm very impressed with these Marvel Legend figures. So we're going to take a look at Emma Frost first. You know, ladies first, ladies first. All right, so... Uh, for the most part, this figure, I, I'm going to say it's more statuous, you know, because you're not going to be able to do a lot with her articulation-wise. You know, she can't move her arms. She can only move, only move her arms up so much due to the sculpted detail of her cape, which looks fantastic, by the way. I love the detail throughout. I know some people are kind of taken uh, aback by the fact that you can't articulate her as much, but I don't need her to be articulated. This is fine for me. I always... Uh, kind of see her as someone who's more statuous than anything. I just need her to look good in action figure form. I think she they did that. You know, the face sculpt, you know, it, 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 I think I like it. I like it. I've seen that some people don't like the face sculpt, but I like it. You know, it fits her personality, who she is, more stoic, uh, mysterious. And I think they handled the hair very well, blonde and everything, nice blonde uh, color and uh, sculpt the detail for the hair. I love how it lays. Again, I love the white that they utilize throughout the whole costume. You see the X-Men logo here on her belt. They handled that very well. Um, you can move her arms about up to here. And that's about it, folks. I mean, you can only do so much with her. So, uh, again, I like how they, he, she turned out overall. It just, um, the 
you know, articulation is non-existent for this figure. So if you're looking for arti ar articulated Emma Frost, then you need to go somewhere else because this, this is not it for you. Uh, so uh, this is more statue as you'll just pose her maybe in one position like this, and then that's it for her. Now, she does come with uh, Cod's build a figure leg here. I'm going to kind of see if I can stand Emma Frost up with those high heels because she does come with these high heel boots, folks. So, uh, yeah, I'm using a stand for, oh, oh, okay, she's standing, she's standing. All right. But, yeah, this she comes with Cod's leg, so we got this leg and everything. This looks pretty cool. Uh, I, I've heard that this is more abomination, <laughs> just turn green. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, I haven't had, I don't have abomination in Marvel Legend form. Never had cod. So, uh, cold or cod. I think I'm saying the name wrong. But yeah, this looks pretty cool, folks. She does come with some, um, two, uh, sets of, uh, swappable hands here. She has an open hand and she also has a fisted hand that I'm going to swap out right here. So we're going to swap this out here and in case you want to give somebody the smack down. All right. All right. There we go. So we got her and then I'm going to stand Miss... Emma Frost up here. And then up next, we're going to take a look at a figure, folks, that I've been wanting to get for as long as I started collecting. And that's this guy here. He is uh, Corsair, the leader of the Star Jammers. He looks fantastic, folks. I love the color on this guy. Looks great. This has to be one of the best Marvel Legend figures of the year. I love, and I'd say I love how they handle his face scope, the scope, the detail here in the cheek areas, the mustache. The eyes, the eyebrows. I love the scope, the detail of the hair, how it lays across the head here. You know, give our camera. He has a little sideburns going on here. He just screams X Men the animated series. I mean, when I see him, I think of X Men animated series, the episode Star Jammers. This is just so awesome. I will most definitely be pairing this guy up with the more X Men animated series shell shaded Cyclops that I got. Actually, let's pull him out right now. I got him right here beside me. There you go, father and son. This looks awesome. This is X Men the animated series all the way through, man. Oh, this looks so awesome. Looks so so cool. Father and son, I love it. So we got caught, not caught, but we have Corsair here, and our articulation is going to be saying he has painless double jointed uh, elbows. Uh, he has painless double jointed knees and everything. So articulation is going to be really good with this figure here. Goes all the way out, no problem. Nice waist swivel. He has that ab crunch here. So this guy is really solid articulation wise. Legs go out to there. He has that that thigh rotation here. Again, art articulation with the knees go all the way back. He does have that boot swivel as well. Nice articulation in the foot area. So articulation for this guy is excellent, folks. You won't have any, any issues at all. Head goes all the way around, goes down a bit, goes up here. He does have butterfly joints. So they, they gave this guy it all. They gave him some really good articulation now along with looking so good this figure comes with accessories go figure right <laughs> figure with accessories so he comes with some accessories so he comes with this battle figure piece which is uh cod's hand uh which looks pretty cool so again i, I like this we're building i got the leg and i got a hand so we'll, we'll see where we go with all that folks maybe those um figures will go five dollars seven dollars i'll be able to build a uh, card but yeah this guy comes with some really good accessories on top of looking so awesome so uh, i'm gonna stand him up here we're gonna take a look at him so he does come with these two fisted hands which look good so if you want to give somebody a smack down both ways you can swap out his hands and also he comes with his little vintage uh blaster gun so i like that looks kind of has has an old school pirate type of a look yet it's still it has that little a futuristic teched out type of look as well uh so i like that folks i really like the look of his uh blaster gun they did an excellent job with this blaster gun here all right and last but not least my main man corsair comes with his vintage swashbuckling sword now this they really nailed it to the whole pirate thing because he's supposed to be a space pirate so it harkens back to the old pirate uh swords here i love the silver paint deco for the blade here we have more of a of a gold paint deco for the handle. This really puts this figure over the top, folks. Not only does he look great overall, but he comes with some really cool accessories that really play up to who he is as a character. Now, if you don't want him to hold his blade, the cool thing about this figure is that he has a little uh, sheath for his sword. His Right here, there you go. He has a little sheath for his swashbuckling sword. So you place that here, and there you go. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is cool, folks. So here we go. We have Corsair, the father of Cyclops. 
looks really good, folks. And uh, up next, let's take these off the sh here as we look at everybody. All right, up next, we have my main man, Cyclops, folks. Now, this is the one that I really have been looking forward to along with Corsair. You know, this guy here, I was going to pull the trigger and get this guy for full price. But, man, when I saw that he was clearance, and that's okay, I'll just wait. And uh, lo and behold, I got him, man. And I tell you, this guy looks fantastic. I really hope that they get, or I hope that they complete the rest of the Astonishing X-Men uh, team. I would like to get the rest of them uh, with the Astonishing X-Men costumes. Uh, but I always love this costume for Cyclops. It really, you know, really plays up to who he is as a person and as a character within the cartoon. Not the cartoon, but the comics. So I really like that. I love this dark navy blue color. The gold really pops. I love how they handled these um, little wrist bracelets here. They kind of, they, they move. You know, you can kind of swerve them around his hand. But overall, scope of detail looks fantastic. I love it. Again, this guy has the pinless uh, technology all the way through. Pinless double jointed knees, elbows. He has butterfly joints as well. Uh, this guy looks great. Head moves all the way around. He, go, he can look up with ease. He can look down with ease. I mean, all the way through this guy. Articulation-wise, it's great. Uh, he looks fantastic. One of the things that really stand out for this figure is the fact that I love this energy beam effect. He has the energy that's emitting from his visor that looks really good, man. It really makes this figure stand out that much more. Really adds personality to a character like this. Anytime you add like special effects or scope the detail, uh, features to a figure like this. I mean, it always adds to their personality. And, and Cyclops does come with two sets of swappable hands. He has this hand here that will play into his eye beam effect. And then here you have more of an open hand that you can place with him as well. So let's try to take You got it like you put his, put his hand here on this side of the visor. And then that way he's able to activate his optic beam so this is really cool here i love it and again the articulation on this guy is fantastic so you will have no issues articulating this guy and getting him ready for action as he's getting ready to lead the x-man into yet another serious battle and hopefully a win <laughs> cyclops is the man man i love cyclops all right and the final figure that we have in this haul is the project superman from a fallen toys dc multiverse this is a part of that cyborg flash builder figure wave and here we have his uh display stand not sure why he doesn't come with the flight stand but yeah it is what it is we have the display stand we also have his collector's card here and he looks he looks so sad i tell you then on the back we have his data file and then we have the two builder figure pieces for cyborg man and that cyborg is going to be huge folks i cannot wait to build this guy this is one hand here did a great job with that and then we have his one you know hand cannon hand this booyah hand here i like that folks we have his hands and then this is the other piece that we got with the uh aquaman this was uh the builder figure so this is the other aquaman not other but this is the other figure that we got from the wave thus far and uh, this was packaged with the Aquaman here. So we got that. And that's it. So let's take a closer look at this guy here. And again, I, he looks he looks pretty cool. I mean, there's not a lot to him. Um, I, I just need him for the build figure pieces, folks. I really didn't care much for the Project Superman character. I mean, it's, it's cool to have a different version of Superman, I guess. Um, it's always cool to have like a different version of Superman. So I'll take it back. Well, it's cool to have... A different version of Superman. Uh, I like the face scope. I mean, he doesn't look as uh, distraught as this guy here in the picture. He look, this guy looks, he looks more menacing um, than that guy in the picture. So uh, I, I, I see, I noticed that. But I love how they handled the scope, the detail of the hair. Man, they knock out the Superman face scopes. I feel for the most part, for the most part. Now, I mean, that one, that two pack with. Uh, Ultraman, that's a whole other story. But yeah, I like this here. They have the little uh, dark paint underneath the eyes to, to resemble how he's maybe had not had much sleep. He's been experimented on. He's angry. This is a different type of Superman. He did not crash land on uh, Jonathan and uh, Martha Kent's farm. He, was, uh, he crash landed on a site where they captured him and experimented on him, which is sad and wrong. 
Uh, but yeah, we have Project Superman here and decked out in all black. I guess I think this is the Superboy body that they're utilizing. I think, and I think the uh, Nightwing for the Titans is utilizing the same body. But yeah, we got the butterfly joints and everything for the Superman. Uh, nice articulation in the waist area, so that's pretty cool. You know, so articulation is really solid for this figure here. Double jointed knees, elbows, everything for this Superman. <laughs> He's very well articulated, you know, for a Superman. So uh, this is pretty cool. Nice articulation in the upper torso. Uh, again, like, this, he looks good. You know, I actually take it back. This this looks like a really good Superman, especially, too, if you get a flight stand and you place him in the flight stand. Let me see if I can find a flight stand. I want to see how he looks with that, if I can find it in my little area. Project Superman, if I can get this thing, yeah, okay, all right, I like that, I like that, all right, so as I mentioned earlier, we do have the Conqueror Aquaman that's from this wave, and then we also have a few characters that were a part of that Flashpoint story arc with the Flash, <laughs> so we got Flash here, all right, so we got Flash, we also have the antagonist who is the Ilbarthorn, the reverse flash and then last but not least we got you know i gotta put you got my main man oh he fell down we got my main man thomas wayne batman so you know we got thomas wayne gonna kind of pull everybody back here so we can get a good look at everybody here with this here i look forward to that flash man that flash looks awesome folks so we got project superman we got Conqueror, the Conqueror Aquaman, and we have the two flashes here. So this is pretty cool. All right, cool. I like it. Yeah, but that's it. We got Project Superman, so I like that. And these are the characters that are a part of that story. Look forward to the Flash uh, that will be dropping. Uh, a lot of people, will, I think, are starting to get right now. Look forward to that. Um, and I think the last character for this build a figure wave will be another Wonder Woman, will be that more angry, evil Wonder Woman that Aquaman was at war with. So I look forward to seeing that. All right, folks, that's all I have for this episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed this haul. Really happy with each and every one of these action figures, folks. Really impressed with these Marvel Legends, as well as this Project Superman. Didn't think I'd like them as much as I did. But again, folks, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to comment below, share your thoughts, like, share, and subscribe as well. And until next time, be good to one another, be safe, stay tuned, and remember, be sure to check out those clearance aisles. Until next time, folks, bye for now.